Welcome back guys to another video here on the channel. It is Christmas y'all. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays everybody here on the old YouTube man tuning in. So today you know we always going to be feeding some animals, talking about them, giving you guys some facts and all that good stuff. And today we're going to be feeding the timber rattlesnake babies man. These are a venomous pit viper called the Crotalus horridus in scientific terms native to the eastern US. So make sure to check out this awesome map I got here on the left side of the screen so you guys get a good idea where the snake is from and we'll go get into some more facts about them. So temper snakes generally come in around three to five feet in length and individuals can reach up to six feet and those can be a really, really large one in my opinion. The size is based on factors such as region and available prey. So armed with retractable fangs and heat sensitive pits, this snake is a formidable predator and its venom is primarily used for subduing prey and it is a complex cocktail of enzymes that aids in digestion. So, not only does the digestive system work inside of the body, the venom also helps to get that thing ready, just like our saliva does before it gets down to our stomach. So just a little bit of a modified saliva in a way. It's the best way to think about rattlesnake venom or just venomous snake venom in general. So these snakes are primarily found in deciduous forests where they seek to refuge and leaf litter and fallen logs. And these solitary creatures are known for their ambush hunting style. So if you look at the pattern on this snake here, it blends in very, very well with a lot of things that we have down here in the South. So this snake is very, very adapted to our ecosystem and environment. So as babies, if you don't know, rattlesnakes only have one button and they grow those buttons out over time by shedding their skin. So whenever they get ready to shed their skin, their body starts to start working on getting a new one ready for them. And then guess what? We can probably start to hear these guys rattle a little bit compared to what they do now. So pretty awesome facts about this reptile or serpent here. So what we want to do is we want to stay as gentle as possible and not try to disturb him too much while he's doing his thing. And I probably should give you guys a good zoom in shot. Maybe we can get a little closer in on the action, kind of see how our saint's gonna react because we do got a pinky for him today. So let's see if maybe we can get him excited here. So I kind of like to just let them smell it a little bit and then I'll back away and just kind of see and observe what the snake is going to do. Because hopefully he'll go and take this pinky down. I had to leave one in here last week for him because he didn't want to eat it on the camera. So it was no big deal, but snakes are still eating and pooping like they're supposed to. So that's definitely a good thing in my opinion. So let's time lapse this footage out for a little while and we'll see what this snake wants to do.
All right, so this is the female timber rattlesnake that I have here. So I can give you guys a little bit of an awesome close-up of her. She's a pretty beautiful snake in my opinion, just like the brother. So let's go ahead and see what she wants to do. Maybe we can get her to elicit a good strike on it. Maybe not. So I think what we need to do is open it her cage up a little bit more and we'll see if we can't see if we can't get this cork mark well, this cork hide or, uh, sorry, oak hide that I made. See, that won't help her out some. So now, let me get a place where I can see you guys at the same time. And we can zoom in here. Maybe we can help her out here. Ooh, right on the face. She's rattling her little tail. I can see that from here, but we just gonna kind of let that sit right there. And I'm gonna step back and it might just do it guys. So we'll see what she wants to do. If she wants to go ahead and eat this mouse now that she's struck at it. She's definitely a lot more timid than the other one. A lot more straightforward, I think, too. I probably won't have to mess with her as much eating because she's the one that eats pretty readily. I haven't had any trouble out of her too much. May have to grab the mouse because she's moving a little bit. Maybe she'll go loop back around and smell them, but I'm not too sure. Maybe I think what I'll do is grab this little guy and we'll try to put it in front of her face. 